You guys remember this game? It's it's called Creeper World 4. Apparently the last time we played it was about three months ago. Now, the good thing about it is there's this little thing called filters. Stupid. <laughs> called colonies. It's called colonies. And there's all these like incredible new custom maps, right? So if you guys do want to see more, well, you know what to do. D-Day style landing assault. You guys know I like castle seizures, but D-Day defense maps are like, an all-time favorite. And apparently it says you can utilize actual tanks and artillery, and the thumbnail actually looks like there's real pillboxes with machine guns in them. So, like, this is a beyond modded map. Like, like this is beyond a custom map. It's, it's, it's basically modded. Like, look at this. Get off my screen. Bruh. So, look at this. The pillboxes look like little bunkers, and they've got little, what, I guess those are snipers in them? We've got like radio towers that we've got to protect. We actually have tanks and artillery pieces. This is hilarious. Oh my God. I wasn't really expecting like a real D-Day map. <laughs> oh my God. It's incredible. Like this is a real D-Day map guys. Like I'm so impressed by this. So we have to hold the bases. It says, eh? Oh, hold up there, buster. All right, what are what is this thing? A nullifier. Why is a nullifier here? I don't know why, but they are. We've also got these mineral patches, so I'm assuming we have to hold for 15 minutes and then nullify the 17 different enemy types? That's very strange. Anyway, let's just go ahead and kick this off. But yeah, if you guys want to see more, 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 more. Well, we'll get two mines going, and this is really cool, seeing the creeper proverbially uh, storm the beach. Oh my god, they're actual soldiers. You've got to be kidding me. Who did this? And why are you my new, just, like, favorite modder? Oh my god, that, like, that, that's, that's borderline freaking incredible. Okay, so apparently we just need lots and lots of snipers and lots and lots of resources. Now we're going to connect to all of the resource nodes here, and oh my god, there are quite a bit. So let's just go ahead and get like tons of mines. Yeah, that, that's definitely, they're still called mines. All right, so that should help us out. Now they are creating waves. So the waves are gonna have to be defeated with conventional weaponry, like mortars. Mortars are probably gonna be the go-to and we're gonna wanna station them in different areas. Once they get to this shelf, this is gonna be hard. Now I just, I'm wildly impressed with the creativity here. So we're doing some massive, massive building. So I think what I should be doing is building like along the ridge line here. And then we're gonna get down here into the shelf. However, it would be kind of cool to like cheekily hold this point. Now, I don't know what this red stuff is. Is that stuff I need to be putting anti-creeper on? It's been such a long time. It's been such a long, long time. We have artillery and tanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out though. We'll just put this guy on always on. <laughs> So that sucks. Now what's gonna attack us? Ooh, I'm realizing this is a very key weak spot in our fortress. I don't know how artillery works. Oh, it works how you think it works. It just fires. So let's get all of the artillery firing. Let's pull the tanks up over here. This is cool, they actually like move. Artillery, fire. Artillery, fire. Okay, good. Oh, actually, what we need to do is probably concentrate. Concentrate all forward firepower! Right here. We've got little tank trap hedgehogs. It's pretty cool. What just blew up? Something blew up. Is it because I ran over it? Oh, I'm running over hedgehogs and they're getting destroyed. So this is cool. I've also got this, like, radar installation, which looks freaking awesome. The artillery pieces look great. This is, this is the best Creeper World 4 mod that I've seen in a while. All right, let's make an ERN portal. That way we can get uh, the little ERN upgrades going. We've got the factories going. I'm probably very slow on my builds, but uh, you know, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. And it's been a while since I could say that I played this freaking game, boys. It's been a long, long time. But it's good to be back. How long we're gonna be back is really all dependent on you guys. You know, like if you wanna see it, guess what? We'll do it. You don't want to see it? I might just play this in my own time. Giant deficits. How are we doing? Are we holding? Mortars are holding, but these waves are just like, they're big, you know? They're quite big. Now, can we build airstrikes? Yes, we can. Now, if these things are like P-51, well, actually, since where's the Germans? If they're Stukas and Messerschmitt 109s, I will be so happy. I'm not expecting them to be, but it would be pretty freaking cool. And at this point, we just need just like tons of these. 
just manning the entire length of this fortress to buy us enough time to figure out how we're going to elim eliminate them. If we're the Germans, it stands to reason that we could use... Oh my god, what's an AA ship? I was... I'm looking for uh, the V1, V2s, the revenge weapons. Man, we cannot lose these snipers, that's for sure. If we lose these towers, we're in a seriously bad position. So I'm thinking the amount of mortars we have, let's actually increase uh, mine production and fire rate. Now, where do we see any more ERNs? Those are those little cubes that fly around and it's like, hey man, that's an upgrade. But one thing we can do is continue to monopolize the natural resources on this planet that is apparently held by the Germans, you know? But I, I think we're doing okay. And the tanks are pretty powerful. I'm pretty sure I can make them. I saw them down here. Artillery costs... Is artillery free? Oh, there's a unit limit. Duh. That's pretty cool. And there's a unit limit on these, I think. Yeah, I can make 18 more tanks. So let's make some tanks, man. There's the question. Uh, historically speaking, you know, like, the Americans did... Oh, God. But it's like, what would happen if the Germans... Oh, you can actually put something here. Basically, it's like, what if, what if the, you know, the, uh, Panzers and Panthers and, uh, specifically were actually close enough to the beaches of Normandy to where they could have counterattacked? What would have happened to the Allies? And it's like, you know what, why don't we, why don't we find out, man? By massing some tanks. They take a while to build. There's definitely some nice room for airfields, though, as well. One of the things we'll probably want to do is make a speedy pylon system. Now, where do we run it? There we go. That way, resources from these mines uh, get to the factory in Nexus very, very quickly. Couldn't you do a creeper world where it's like World War II defense? You know? That's a, that's a good question, guys. Like, for fun, like, game development, game theory ideas, game design, whatever you want to call it. Like, how would you take the fundamentals of Creeper World 4 and apply it to, say, World War II? We really need to nullify this thing. Do they really have 17? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm only counting 11, but I guess we've nullified a number of them already. Oh, you know what? There must be something in this bunker. Yeah, you see how we've got some nullifiers already working? Okay, I don't know what they get if they break through and take that, but we don't want to find out. All right. I think it's very, very clear we need more resources. All right, we got two more tanks. I mean, this is this is talent right here, man. This is talent. Is this guy? I don't think this guy's firing. But I love how the Higgins boats are actually like soldier landers. We're still running a deficit? How? Am I just building a lot of stuff at the same time? Yes, I'm doing that. What is this thing? Command bunker. All right, we don't want to lose that. Do I power the command bunker? Apparently not. Yeah, one of the other things we can do is work on passive energy production. But I love this, man. This is the best mod I've ever seen in Creeper World 4. I'm obviously, like, biased, though, because I love World War II history. All right, there we go. We got our deficit down to, what, less? Oh, yeah, now we're producing a bunch. Okay, this is excellent. I think a bunch of mines kicked on at the same time. But remember, in RTS games, you can make up for lack of skill by just having tons and tons of resources, okay? It's definitely something I do quite a bit. I don't understand how this, to play this game. But you know what I do understand? If I can mass resources, it will be easier. Sun Tzu said that. Mo money, less problems on the battlefield. Look it up. Sun Tzu said it. So you know it's real. All right, what we do want is an airfield. Oh, this is perfect. I can fit airfields in here. In this little space is what I mean. So let's go ahead and get some bombers. Yeah. I am curious about what this is, because an anti-aircraft ship. Holy biscuits! How do I- where do I put this thing? Oh, I can put them in here! Unit limit. Uh, I can only produce one. That's really cool that you can make that. Okay, I would love to see if you could play as the creeper in this, but you could be the Americans attacking the beaches. That would be uh, never mind. If you're playing as the creeper, then they'd have conventional-based weaponry, right? That you see that I'm making right here. Now this is really cool, radio mast. I love it. I'm I'm out of this world happy with what's going on. Did I already build a factory? I think I already did. Yeah, right here. What's, oh, Grenar. Yeah, we don't have any of that. What we could start doing is producing some anti-creeper waterfalls. So we'll put, we'll put an anti-creeper waterfall like definitely right down here. There we go. And I'm actually going to get like three of them. So I can just like 
I want a real waterfall. And in honor of that, we will create a faster network. I feel like every time I say, we're building a faster network, I'm like running a cell phone company. But it's like, wait, I'm not nearly as attractive as Brian Reynolds. I can't do that. That's the only way you're allowed to ru uh, run a, a network these days. Or so I've been told. I love the artillery, man. I want to see more World War II mods for this game. Oh, look at that. We're building it, boys. There we go. We're going to make some high speed. Yeah, basically like these little towers. This is 4G. We're getting that 5G microchip under your skin type speeds right now. Okay. And it looks like we're building this anti-creeper trenches. That's probably something I'd recommend you do from the beginning on this map. Looking back in hindsight. What the heck? What happened to my runway? What the heck just happened there? That's really strange. So the runway has to power the bombers, so they weren't being powered, even though they were done. That, I don't know what happened if it got hit with something. All right, but once we have anti-creeper in enough spots, we'll build an anti-creep. Oh, it's an A, I thought it was AC ship, it's AA ship. Objective obtained. We held out for 15 minutes, now we gotta nullify them. What else can I make that's awesome? I mean, this is def This is obviously the, the one you'd want, but there's no way we get that with how much creepers just spilling over. Maybe I accidentally canceled the airfield. It's very possible. I'm trying to fit in as many mines as I can. Look at this. I'm harnessing the power of the trees. Green energy indeed. All right, so the, here's what we're doing now. We've got an airstrike happening on this emitter to just try to create a dead zone. And then we'll probably like counterattack with some tanks. Now I think what we need to do is definitely have... Whoa, are these planes disappearing? Oh no, they're powering up and then going back. Got it. Okay, a lot of energy requirements. I think what we're gonna do is start working on a second runway. And we also ran some power lines kind of low, at least on the southern flank here. So we're gonna start putting some towers down here. All right, let's speed this puppy up. It doesn't look like we have access to the things that can rebuild the ground. So I can't build like land masses or a peninsula and just like walk my way down there. We got a bunch of machine guns here now. We got more tanks. Let's start using them. And then we've got the special anti-aircraft ship. I think we could probably pull this off now if we have the area to do it, which I kind of, oh, there it is. Okay, so I've got to protect this area. Oh my God, tanks are amazing. Retake the shelf. Oh, actually, I think kind of losing some of them. All right, we built the ship. Now, I'm hoping it can survive long enough. So let's see if this thing works. I wonder if it's not affected. I'm not seeing it lose health. Granted, there's enough anti-creeper surrounding its perimeter, I think, to keep it alive, and it is firing. Okay, so it, it's a basic, um, a makeshift. It's like two of these artillery pieces, which makes sense because it has a turret. <laughs> this is funny, man. Needs ammo, connect to network. All right, we got two new tanks. All right, let's get all the tanks up on the on the beach. It's funny how we hold the land, but we were able to build a ship. <laughs> Stupid. I think the next things I think that would be really cool to add to this are like V1 buzz bombs and V2 rockets. And I mean, if you want to get cheeky, the V3 artillery cannon. Man, the allies have a lot of troops. I'm gonna build five <laughs> tanks at once. And to my knowledge, it doesn't look like you can select multiple tanks at the same time. I don't know if they're treated as like entities or they're not like like sentry turrets or anything yet this beach is so long oh my goodness man but i think tanks are definitely the way to do it they've also got air support like look at what my air power is doing it's just crushing them it is just crushing enemy so we will make more panzers this is the panzer kampfwagen 9 the big box i guess you could call it a mouse maybe all right more tanks on the front so then it stands the reason that if we can just keep Supplying this front line. We will be able to hold and counterattack. Yeah, you kind of like move the tanks in like you direct artillery fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. Needs ammo connected to network. It is connected. I guess they're just firing so much. It's a target rich uh, place out there. Whoa, whoa. Did we bug it? I think we may have bugged it. Maybe we can unbug it. It says all of them need ammunition. I. I think we may have actually bugged it because we're getting the energy to them. We need a, we, we need a bit of an ability to turn those off, right? Other than obviously supplying them. <laughs> oh, you can actually call in this artillery? Oh my god, you can call him in as a freaking ship. He's He moves. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. All right, what do you do? 
Do you have any special weapons? Uh, I don't... Not that I can see, really. All right, we're getting really close to some Higgins boats. Yavol, we will move this way, hmm? Yeah, man, what if the allies attack Normandy Beach with just, like, blue, all-organic mass-eating substance? <laughs> That'd be a lot of civilian casualties, which would really be sad. Did we build more tanks? Yeah, we did. Of course we did. Oh, my God. What am I... How did I miss this? There's a Grenar node right here. I don't know what we could do with it. Oh, I guess build some special structures. Like, we have a beacon. I'm not sure if there's any weapons that use that, but we're very low on anti-creeper. All right, we're moving all of our towers to the front. It's time for the onslaught. <laughs> this, is, this is really gonna uh, stretch our logistics, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, and I actually just took away all of our defenses, didn't I? Amateur move. Bruh. I'm getting like frame rate issues. I think my army is so big and we're shooting so much stuff out and we just bugged this Higgins boat. What I'm going to do is show that we can take one. And I think it's clear that we're going to be following this modder with great interest. I'll show you what the mod is at the end if I didn't already. Oh my gosh. It's just all need ammo. That's all it is. Is that all World War II was? It sure looks like it. So I just need to get up, build a nullifier, and check to see. There we go. Come on, baby. Get this thing up and running. Oh, we are running a massive deficit. I think this amount of energy is the most amount of energy I've ever, like, used. Hey, we nullified it, though. I guess you have to, like, kill the waves that are coming off screen. Uh oh some of the tanks are, like, getting overrun. And we're at the unit limit for the tanks now. That's interesting. This, this one doesn't count. Maybe it's blown up. Oh my god, this is like a lot of logistics going on. So much logistics. But we only have four left, so I feel like we are very, very close. At this point, we're just overrunning them with tanks. <laughs> I think these are the last two. I'm nullifying this and the little nest right here that my ship is just casually parked right next to. It might actually be invincible because I don't think it's been damaged at all. Maybe it can sail on the creeper, and maybe that's the thing and I, that I didn't realize, is that that thing's actually, since the creeper's supposed to be water, <laughs> which I'm now waging war <laughs> on the water, which is pretty funny. There we go. Let's get these two things built. I'm at 4x speed, mind you, waiting for these last two nullifiers to be placed. But yes, not only have we defeated the allies, but we've defeated the oceans themselves. It is a good day in the Reichland, you know? The Creeper Reichland. Or I guess we're anti-Creeper. We're very anti-Creeper politically, you know? That's really our only political affiliations right now. Come on, is this thing not done? Okay, it's starting to get happy. Yes! We've almost done it and we will have done it in an hour. Fantastic, that is probably not a record at all. It's probably pretty terrible. But we are gonna submit our record forever. Now, okay, so this one was made by I want to see if this person's done more. Enjoy the map? Heck yeah, I did. D-Day, does it say who it is? Info? It doesn't... I don't think it says who it is from. Unless we... Here we go. D-Day. Chroma. All right, Chroma, what else have you made? Please make more. Thanks for watching another episode of Creeper World 4. Let me know if you guys do want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.